Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I'm sure you're wondering what this absolute mess is behind me. Well, today we're going to talk about everything that I have received in PR from fragrance companies. Just as a side note, I'm not getting paid to say anything about these fragrances. All thoughts are my own, as if you have watched my videos before, you will know. I'm very off the cuff. And you might hear a little bit of outdoor noise. Um, I had a candle going in my room and it was like kind of like suffocating me. So I have to have the window open right now. So apologies if you can hear like birds squawking out of my window. But without further ado, let's get started. First, I would like to start off with a fragrance house called Skylar. And I got three different fragrances from them to review. So Vanilla Sky, Delicious Sweet Vanilla Cappuccino, but light fragrance. Honeysuckle Dream is a floral, sweet, happy, a little green, vibrant fragrance. Great for just someone who's just super effervescent and happy. And then my personal favorite out of all of them, this is Salt Air. This one smells like salty skin with clean linens and almost like a fresh spring day, like the breeze rolling through. It, it's got a little bit of a violet leaf undertone to it. It's, it's so lovely, it's so happy. I'm also very excited because they told me that they're gonna keep me in the loop for like future launches and that they'll have some stuff coming out towards the end of the year. And I'm like, oh, I, want, I don't know any specifics yet, so don't ask me, but like, very excited that I'm in the know now. Ugh, I feel like a real influencer. I'm like, this channel is actually doing something now, guys. I, I thank TikTok for it, of which I have 10,000 followers on now. If you're not following me, it's under the same name. So is my Instagram. And Instagram is more the place I talk to people, like on my DMs and stuff. And then TikTok, I just do quick short videos. So yeah, check them out. So next up, Define Me sent me a, an extremely generous PR kit. As you can see, I got two full sizes here. I got two roller balls and then I got a sample kit of their, just smack my face with it. I got a sample kit of their oil fragrances. So they were super generous with that. I have a discount code with them as well. And the whole premise of this brand is it's based around um, gemstones. And I believe I've showed this before in a couple of videos, but this fragrance right here is called Kahana. And it literally has gemstones inside. It's so cool, aquamarine crystals rather. And so I personally, I am not super well educated on the healing powers of crystals. I know a lot of people in Los Angeles are super into that. I myself am not gonna speak on it because it's not something I have knowledge on. So I'm gonna plead the fifth, but I do find it really, really cool. And also what's crazy is this one right here it's very coconutty, smells like suntan lotion, smells like summer, very watery, very bright, and it lasts 16 hours. It's absolutely freaking unreal. But I think my favorite out of the group has to be Delphine right here. That smells like lilac and gardenia. Like, so cute, so happy, like, and it's floral. So you gotta like floral, but I love a good gardenia and I adore lilac. So. I mean, if you were gonna go with anything, I would just try your luck with the um, oil fragrances first, so that way you could get a good sniff of everything. Because honestly, there wasn't a single one in here that I didn't care for. I like them all, but I think that that one, Delphine is my favorite. I really liked Sophia Isabel, which I have a full size bottle of right here. That's like really sweet and candy like. Another company that I have a discount code with is Dead Cool, another vegan, cruelty-free, unisex uh, fragrance house. And so originally they sent me a tin and with some car, they have car air fresheners, they have uh, laundry detergents that like match their fragrances. So they sent me a tin with I think six or eight fragrances in here to see what I liked. And then out of those, they sent me a big bottle and then two mini rollers and also some laundry detergent, which is cute. Um, but 
My favorite out of the entire group is Red Dakota, which has a very, very citrusy opening. Like a photorealistic lemon peel opening. Ooh, it's so good. I really, it's so refreshing, this one. Probably not for everybody, but ooh, their, their scents are very unique, very unisex, and I really enjoy them. And then my one other favorite is called Taunt, and this is a vanilla amber fragrance, but it's creamy and it's light, because those two tend to be kind of heavy. This is not heavy. It is light. It is so delicious. And this is actually the last of the group that I have a discount code for. I just wanted to put those all up front just in case you guys were interested in any of these fragrances. So this is from the brand Sniff. They sent me this really cute package. So I got Burning Bridges, I got Natural Talent, and I got Show Pony. So we've got a um, sweet, slightly smoky vanilla. We've got an apricot sandalwood, and we've got a dark and spicy cardamom tea fragrance. So I got a bunch of stuff from Juliet Has a Gun. I am not affiliated with them, but they did say, you know, if I was interested in reviewing any of them for you guys to give them, you know, an email and, and they would try to accommodate that. So originally they sent me their new release for this summer. This is Magnolia Bliss. Really, um, it's citrusy, it's gingery, it's magnolia flower, so it's floral, it's a little zesty, and it's bright and happy. And what's cool about this one is it kind of has like this almost shower gel-like quality, but it lasts really, really well. I know a lot of people say that some of the Juliet Has a Gun ones aren't necessarily long-lasting, but this one definitely lasts for me. They also sent me a discovery kit. I did a video that's already on my page if you guys are interested in watching the detailed of this. And from that, I said, I, you know what, I decided to not be shy because I can be a little bit like, oh, well, I don't wanna like take advantage of their kindness. But it's like also why would you say, yeah, we'll send you stuff for review if you didn't mean it. So they sent me two, um, so. Pear Ink, just to speak briefly, Pear Musky Fragrance, so juicy, so good for summer. Not great for lasting, but I don't care. I really don't care. I love the fragrance. I needed to have it. And with all the fragrances in my collection, I do not need to ask for more. That's how much I like this one. So, and then secondly, my favorite, my absolute favorite, Lipstick Fever. This is a jammy sweet rose with a musky undertone. All of the bases of a lot of their products have like ambroxan musk, that like almost like pheromone type scent. Now they can't like harvest pheromones, but there's something that makes people feral with musks. And so this is like sweet. It's not as powdery as you would think. Like if you see lipstick rose, you would think it's gonna be really powdery. It's not, it is. Oh my god, it's Ooh, so good. I was sent these from Oil Perfumery. I have four fragrances. I have two duplicates. Um, and so I have a video coming up with that. Um, they're a dupe house. Super, super good quality. 16 bucks per roller. I received this one from Pacifica, which is Dream Moon, that literally smells like Ariana Grande Cloud mixed with Aqualina Pink Sugar. So it's got kind of a Baccarat Rouge type vibe to it. If you guys are looking for a good place to order samples from, I got this from the Cologne Collection. So I got their Zirjaf Casamirati Italica, a Perfumes de Marley Leighton, Tom Ford Rose Prick, and Oud for Greatness. I already did a dedicated review on my page um, about these. This is from the brand Andromeda's Moon. They are a, an inspired by Dupe House, but they're super, super indie. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to support a small business, go check them out. I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the most their version of Glossier U and their version of Greenwich Village. If you're looking for something a little more unique, I got these samples from 
Libertine Fragrances. It's a niche house out of Canada. Their, uh, their fragrances, if you're just used to like the run-of-the-mill fragrances, they're, uh, they might be a little challenging because they're a little bit more complex, they're more unique. Some of them tend to be a little bit more green, herbal, earthy, photorealistic, not like commercial. But if you're in the market for very interesting fragrances, I liked Sweet Grass and Soft Woods the best. Another dupe house. I got six fragrances from Juliana's perfumes, and these are extract parfums. This is super cool. So this is from Olfactory NYC, and what they do is they send you first um, one kit, and it's an explorer box. So you go through, and whichever one you like best, you put a code in on their website, and then they send you um, the, whatever fragrance you chose, they'll send you several different versions of that. So let's say that base is oak moss. Well, they'll send you a vanilla cardamom oak moss. They'll send you a rose oak moss. They'll send you different versions. I picked Riley, which is a hazelnut sandalwood vanilla base. And then in the mail, I have coming to me um, one with jasmine and coconut that I got in the secondary box. And then they send you with a custom label and your unique blended fragrance. I got a small discovery set of the fragrance Moss by Commodity, which is a, a green, um, slightly citry, citrusy fragrance. I got several different fragrances from Les Elixir, or Les Elixir. Uh, which is, I believe, based here in Los Angeles, and they are a luxury house, um, and their packaging is really beautiful. It's um, gold packaging, and their fragrances are strong, 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 strong. So I won't get too into it, but yeah, I have a whole bunch to review for you guys at a later time. I got some from the Sage Lifestyle, which is like uh, kind of like a little hippie brand, and these ones are roll-on oil perfumes and the packaging is just so it wants to focus on my face i wish you could see this better the packaging is so beautiful i was shocked to be sent a fragrance by memo memo is an incredibly expensive niche house very very pricey very bougie and i picked out tamarindo which is floral sweet tropical super interesting i'll go more into depth in a different review about this one. I was sent some from Okcha. Um, I'll do a more dedicated review on these as well, but this is another dupe house. And I saved two for the very end. So I was sent a few from David's Perfume, which is David Dobrik's perfume company. And the reason I saved this for last is because when I posted about this on Instagram and TikTok, people let me know that he has some I guess, assault allegations or something like that. Um, I don't know the full details, so don't come for me on that one. Do your own research. I'm just letting you guys know that I received these, but I don't, I don't stand with that sort of behavior. I don't condone it, so I won't really be talking about these on my channel. And unfortunately, same goes for alt. I, I don't look into like the the drama surrounding these companies, but I will definitely like let you guys know what I find out. So I heard tell that um, when I post these ones, people were like, do you know that the CEO made racist allegations all over online or racist comments all over online? And I was really sad to hear that because this is one of the better dupe houses, but I personally would not spend money to support somebody that makes comments like that. That's exactly why I left. That's exactly why I left these to the end of the video because I don't want to endorse people like that. So there are better dupe houses. There are obviously tons of ones that I talk about on my channel. So we'll talk about ones that I st stand behind uh, more in the future. Sorry to rush a little bit in the video. My camera is blinking at me that is going to die, but I just briefly wanted to show you guys what I'm working with. If there's any in this group that you're like, ooh, I want you to review that, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Check me out on Instagram and on TikTok, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.